Hello, Archbishop Murphy High School students. Our counselors recently visited your community period classes during class meetings to share information about the course forecasting process. As you navigate this process and make selections about courses this year, we want to feature some information that will help you and options available in this video today. But this is just the start of a conversation. Please ask questions of your counselors, our teachers, and any administrator as you select your courses for the upcoming school year. We are the Fine Arts Department. Let us open your eyes and ears to the world. We have many options to choose from. Hi, I'm Ms. McVicker. I hear students tell me all the time, I can't draw and I'm not very creative but you'll be very surprised at what you can accomplish in our art classes. We learn methods that allow anyone to achieve success and develop their creativity. Whether it's drawing and painting, ceramics, these studio art classes definitely will enhance your art appreciation, skills, and expression. Add a little color to your world. Come check it out. Hi, I'm Mr. Chu, and I teach the orchestra, which consists of violin, viola, and cello. The orchestra class is very friendly, no pressure, and motivating for all levels, from beginning to advanced. If you join the orchestra, you are guaranteed to have a fun, exciting, and not so boring journey of classical music. If you don't have the instrument, I will provide one for you free of charge. So why not join the orchestra? I'm Miss Wright and I teach choir and drama. Start your day out right. When you sign up for choir classes, you have the choice of zero period and day choir. Both groups perform together. Advanced choir students may also audition for our top vocal group, the Choralaires, which has its own class period. Many students who are in the spring musical take part of the choir program, further developing their vocal techniques, stage presence, and how to memorize. Drama class is an introduction to acting, developing your performance skills, and it is a total blast. I'm Mr. Curtis. I teach concert band, jazz ensemble, and guitar. All are welcome from beginner to advanced. Our instrumental ensembles develop teamwork, artistry, and grit. Let's jam, make friends, and rock the house. Come join the fun, represent our school, and gain valuable lifelong skills as you build up your mind, body, and spirit. Hello, I'm John Eccles, and I teach AP Computer Science Principles, and we also offer AP Computer Science for the Career and Technology Department. Uh, AP Computer Science Principles is an opportunity for you to just kind of dip your toe in the water and see if you are interested in programming and some of the other areas of computer science. Uh, AP Computer Science is a class that they dive deeper into programming, programming Java. Both classes are great to take if you're planning on going on into any kind of STEM class. The opportunity to program will present itself in college, so it's a good chance to take it now and, and learn a little bit about it today. Hi, my name is Mr. Meehan, and if you're interested in any kind of graphic arts or um, a career in design or communications, I offer a couple different classes, including yearbook, where we not only make a book, but you get to know lots of people throughout campus, attend lots of events, as well as the graphic arts courses, which are either a tech or an art credit, where you learn through Creative Cloud, through Adobe, lots of Photoshop, and it's pretty fun. Hello, I'm Mrs. Stone, Business Pathway Program Director, Teacher, and Deck Advisor here at Archbishop Murphy High School. The Business Pathway Program supports students in all grade levels to explore careers, leadership, business, and industry. You will have the opportunity to gain hands-on experience working in our student store, the Murph, as well as our brand new coffee cart, Holy Grounds. The classes you can take within the business program include Introduction to Business, Management and Marketing, Future Ready, as well as Student Internships. 
It also allows you to be a part of the largest organization on campus, next to the football team, DECA. The business pathway in DECA is for emerging leaders to compete in business-related events, attend career development conferences, and special events like Professional Sports Career Day at the Seattle Mariners. No matter what you decide to do with your future, business applies. Applications for the business program pathway will open this spring or simply register for a business course. If you have any questions, feel free to stop in my room, room 203. This is Mr. Wright, and I'm here to tell you about your three elective options for English 12 this year. Uh, first semester for all seniors is English 12. Uh, which is world literature and composition, but then second semester you get to choose between three classes. Uh, one is utopias and dystopias, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, the second is uh, creative writing, and the third is a class called social difference. So utopias and dystopias is a class that explores social dreaming, or what's it like to live in an ideal world, and what are the different ways that people try to create the ideal world. And in doing so, sometimes they create what we call dystopias or bad places. So the class heavily emphasizes reading, but we give you a lot of choice in, in what you read. So you get to select a lot of the books that you read in that class under that theme of utopias and dystopias. The second class is creative writing, and that's really built around the idea of combining the critical and creative mind and giving students a chance to express themselves in writing. It's a workshop style class that helps students develop skills in, in writing and in thinking about what makes for good writing. The third class is called Social Difference and it's a new addition to our curriculum in the year 2021-2022. And uh, it focuses on the ways that we experience difference in society, which could be language, race, ethnicity, uh, sexuality, gender, um, ability, uh, and how the, those ideas have intersections with power and privilege and access and opportunity in the world. The class emphasizes students uh, researching on their own and, uh, and doing class reads and then trying to uh, find their voice in speaking out against injustices and, uh, and educating themselves on how the world works uh, in the society in which we live. Those are your three options this year, and uh, all of them are uh, good college preparatory classes, so I hope you'll consider them. Uh, AMHS offers the Matteo Ricci program, which is an interdisciplinary set of classes that uh, are offered through Seattle University. Um, the, uh, the classes are English 12 Honors and Social Studies 12 Honors, and both classes carry uh, five credits offered from Seattle U and transferable to most any university in the country. Uh, the courses are designed around the seminar method and collaborative learning. Uh, students participate in a series of 16 to 18 seminars over the course of a year and write papers for each. The course works rigorous, focusing on powerful primary texts and, and big ideas. Uh, the text readings aren't that long, but we go into a lot of depth with them. So rather than it being a course that's focused on the outcome being a test, uh, this gives students the opportunity to dig deeper and think more carefully about uh, really big ideas. I'm Mrs. Mullen and I teach English. Next year, 11th graders will have the option to take AP Literature and Composition. This is a new course that will replace Honors 11 English and is based on the College Board curriculum. The course will focus on close reading and critical analysis of fiction, poetry, and drama. If you enjoy reading, discussing, and writing, this course is a great choice for you to explore big ideas. If you're interested in the course, please speak with your current English teacher or myself for further details. Hi, my name is Roger Brodniak, and I'm the AP Government and Politics teacher at Archbishop Murphy High School, also affectionately known as AP GOPO. Uh, AP GOPO is a class for seniors, and it fulfills uh, one of the requirements uh, that you take a social studies class your senior year. And what I have to say about the class is that in this day and age, being participatory citizens in a democracy, it's crucial to understand current events, how our government works, the day-to-day -day operations of how 
the next generation's leaders that we have at Archbishop Murphy can get involved and make a difference using the techniques and mechanisms of government and politics to make a change in the spirit of Christ-like leadership. That's what AP GOPO does. Uh, this is uh, an AP class, so it's been, it's a college level class, it's a challenging class. It's been approved by a professor, the syllabus and the activities in the class are approved by college professors. So you're getting a college experience now at Archbishop Murphy with me, a teacher that cares about you individually, that's able to guide you through the curriculum and hopefully have a fun time at the same time. If you have more, more questions or if you'd like to apply, you can see me in my room, room 208 and it'd be a pleasure to teach you in AP government and politics. Hey, my name is Roger Brodniak and I'm the AP United States History teacher, also known as APUSH. APUSH is a year-long class that you can take uh, if you want to get a college level experience looking at a survey of US history from 1492 to modern day. Uh, the benefits of taking this class are number one, you're going to get college prepared. Uh, it's an AP class, which means that it's been approved by a professor at a college, and you're going to be getting college-level experiences, college-level skills, college-level understanding of United States history. Uh, there's a test at the end of the year that's required, and students who pass the test are able to get college credit at most universities, which is a great benefit. But even uh, regardless of that, the experience of going through a college class while you're at Archbishop Murphy with a teacher who's ready to help you and cares about you individually uh, will help you prepare you for the college experience. Uh, there's a number of great benefits uh, in terms of what we do to, to learn. Uh, in APUSH, um, we do a lot of role-playing role simulations where students portray students from the past, uh, portray historical figures from the past. If you're interested in applying for AP, AP US History, uh, come and see me, there's an application involved. Uh, and if you have any questions, please get a hold of me. Thanks for considering AP United States History at Archbishop Murphy High School. Hi, I'm Mr. McLaughlin, and next year I'll be teaching AP Macroeconomics. Uh, why should you take this class? Well, maybe you're interested in business. Um, seeing the big picture of the economy would be helpful for you. Maybe you're interested in social studies, but you're also a logical thinker. So we look at the way the world works and human behavior, and we try to discover and analyze a pattern within all of that. Maybe you are going to college and you want to maybe earn some college credit. If you pass the AP exam, we can help you out with that. Or maybe you want to understand the news a little bit better. Why do we pass an infrastructure bill? That's $1 trillion. There's a strategy behind that. Why did we receive checks in the mail during the pandemic? What is inflation? And why is the news talking about it almost every day? We talk about all of these in economics. There will be a short application process. It's a small task, but uh, please do not be deterred by that. And I hope to see you next year. Thank you. Do you like studying humans? Do you like studying geography? Well, take the combination class AP Human Geography. This is a social studies elective AP class where we're going to be exploring how humans are impacted by the things around them and how the things around us are impacted by humans. Why should you take AP Human Geography? Well, we're going to be discussing how cultures, communities, and even how you are shaped by the mountains, waters, plains, and all the different features around us. Um, have you ever wondered why our cities are shaped and designed the way that they are? Or how culture is spread between different continents? Or how even the food that you're thinking about right now gets from the farm down to your table? Some other questions we're going to be exploring are, why do some cities have a combination Pizza Hut and Taco Bell while others don't? Why are there three times as many chickens in the world than humans? Why is every map that you have ever looked at actually kind of wrong? And why do things such as religion, how we consider what is polite and impolite, and so many other things are spread and changed around the world. And we're also going to be looking at how is the TikTok that you recently just made actually affecting and shaping global culture. If you want to answer those questions and more, take AP Human Geography with me, Mr. Tadros, um, and pick up your application in room 205. This is a class for upcoming juniors and seniors. Hi, my name is Lisa Latta, and I'm the department chair for math. 
Three years of math are required for graduation. However, we recommend students take four years as that is usually the requirement for four-year colleges. Given that math is a sequential subject, your current math teacher will inform you in the upcoming weeks of the best class for you next year. We look forward to helping you challenge yourself in math. My name is Jordan James. I'm the Director of Strength and Conditioning, the Director of Wellness, and the Physical Education and Health Chair. One of the options as an elective in the PE Health Department is Strength and Conditioning. Strength and Conditioning is available to any and all students at Archbishop Murphy High School. It's not just for student athletes, it's for everyone. We really try to take an approach of teaching students lifelong skills of how to take care of themselves from a fitness perspective, increase their strength, increase their conditioning. Also, we talk quite a bit about sleep, health, nutrition, and pieces that all go into performing at your best we as a staff want to help you guys achieve your goals, whatever that might be. So if you want to start on varsity, get more playing time in your sport, or just feel better or look better, we want to help you get there. And we have a great staff to do that. So please come out and check out Strength and Conditioning. Two, one. one. <laughs> that was good. Hola y bonjour. My name is Profe Groneman and I'm here to speak with you a bit about the elective courses that the World Language Department offers. We offer Spanish 3, which is UW in the high school, meaning that for the first semester of Spanish 3, you can earn five credits through the University of Washington. These are credits that are transferable to any public or private university institution in the US and since you are taking UW college courses here you get an enormous discount by taking the UW HS here at Murphy. Normally at the University of Washington if you were to take the same course that I offer you would be paying about $1,500. Here at Murphy you're paying a bit more than $300. So both you and your families can be happy about that, but also it is a course that helps prepare you for Spanish 4, which is our AP Spanish course. It follows the same trajectory as the UW in the high school course, a very similar book, but it prepares you for the AP exam, which allows you to earn 5, 10, or 15 credits depending on your AP test score of 3, 4, or 5. In French, we offer a similar trajectory. After completing French 2, you can continue on to French 3, which is also UW in the high school, meaning you earn UW credits at a reduced rate. And the course prepares you for French 4, which is AP as well. If you have any questions, you're welcome to speak with me or with Senora Adeva, or with Madame Kenny, and we are happy to help you as you decide what elective world language courses you would like to take this next year. I'm Mr. Weir, and I'm here to tell you today about all the different science course offerings that are possible for you to take next year. For those of you who are currently in conceptual physics, next year you'll take biology. For those of you who are in biology, the course offerings for next year open up quite a bit. The science department has four electives that you can choose from after you've come out of biology. You can take chemistry, a course about atoms, molecules, chemical reactions. You can take climate science, about how the world's climate functions and how humans have impacted that system. You can take human body systems, our version of anatomy and physiology, or you can take physics. Once you have taken some of those additional electives, like chemistry and physics, you can take our AP science offerings. There are three AP science classes that we will be offering next year. AP bi biology is a college level biology course that relies heavily on learning from lecture and reading. 
you can expect a significant amount of reading homework every night, and there's a significant amount of memorization. Uh, to get into that course, you need to have completed chemistry and have counselor approval. AP Chemistry is a similar level course, uh, college level, that requires uh, mathematical ability and problem solving capability, uh, but probably has a little bit less homework. However, you can expect regular outside of class work to be necessary. And then AP Physics requires uh, mathematical problem solving ability. Regular physics is a prerequisite. And you should also be enrolled concurrently or have already taken calculus AB or higher. Both AP Physics and AP Chemistry have an application that will be need, you will need to turn in by February 16th. You can get those applications from any science teacher. Have you ever wanted to learn to play the piano? Well, here's your chance. We now offer piano workshops. This class will teach you basic piano skills, music theory, scales, and you won't have the pressure of performing in front of a live audience. That's right, proficiency tests will be done in class. So it's time to learn a new and exciting skill. Sign up for Piano Workshop. Hi, I'm Michael Johnson. I am the athletic trainer at Archbishop Murphy High School, and I'm excited to offer a sports medicine course next year as a CTE credit or elective credit in the PE and health department. As part of the sports medicine course here, we will be uh, going in depth into uh, anatomy and uh, other aspects of sports medicine uh, to help prepare students that are interested in athletic training or physical therapy or um, orthopedics in general. Um, the, some of the other things we will focus on are uh, injury prevention, evaluation, rehab and treatment of injuries, uh, specifically in the sports realm. Um, as part of this course as well, um, students will be required to um, have some observation hours either with me or other healthcare professionals um, to help prepare them to uh, move on as a professional in this field.